Thanks for joining me today. And today's practice is going to be a little bit slower, so if you feel like you're a bit cool, then make sure that you've got a jumper or something nearby, because we'll hold our poses for a little bit longer, and they'll be really focused on just opening up the hips. Okay, so let's make a start lying on the back. Bring the soles, the feet together, let the knees drop open, so coming into your Supta Baddha Konasana. We'll place the hands onto the lower belly, index finger and thumbs, just lightly touching. You're making a little diamond shape over your belly button, letting the four, uh, upper arms rest down, and then close down the eyes. And you might notice the hands separate a bit as you inhale, and then come back together as you exhale. Just taking a little bit of time here to notice how you're feeling and how the body's feeling. And if there's anywhere that feels a bit tight already at this stage, take the breath there as you inhale and as you exhale, just seeing if you can soften into that part of the body. You might want to do that a couple more times, same part of the body or different part of the body. Trying not to judge how you're feeling or what you're sensing in the body. Just being curious and aware, just learning about where you're at, where your body's at right now, which will be different day to day. Just another few breaths here. And then let's open the eyes. Bring the knees up towards the ceiling and separate the feet just a little bit. Let's extend that left leg long. Bring the right knee in towards the chest. Let's take an inhale. As you exhale, try to bring the right knee in towards you and slightly towards that right armpit. Feel that left leg lengthening away. And then let's swap it over. Extend the right leg, bring the left knee in. Taking an inhale. As you exhale, draw that left knee in towards the left armpit. Easy breath in and out through the nose. And then inhale to extend that left leg long. Bring both feet flat onto the mat. Place the right foot on top of the left thigh. Thread that right hand through the middle. And then either taking behind the thigh if you can take the outside of the left shin bone. Draw the legs in towards you. So we want an action of drawing the legs in, but then keep pressing the sitting bones back. So the hips are not lifting straight off if you can. So keep pressing those sitting bones back towards the mat. Press the right knee away from the shoulder. Try to relax the shoulders down. Option to just stay here, if you want to extend this left leg up towards the ceiling, flexing the left foot towards the face, then you can go for that. And hand can just stay behind the thigh if you can walk it up a little bit higher. Or if you want to take the both hands out to bring the legs in towards you, then feel free to do that. Keep pressing that right knee back away from you. Sitting bones keep drawing back down. Steady, open breath. Take one more inhale. Exhale to bring the legs in a little bit closer towards you. And then let's release all the way down. So both feet flat on the mat for a moment. And then swapping it over. So pop that left foot on top of the right thigh. Thread the left hand through the center. And once again, taking hold behind the thigh or the shin bone. Pressing the left knee away from that left shoulder now. And if you're holding behind the thigh, make sure this right leg isn't just hanging up in the air. You can just let it really relax down. But keep quite active through the left leg. And then option to just stay here. Or if you want to extend that right leg up towards the ceiling, flexing the right foot towards the face. 
and trying to bring the legs in if you want to release the hand so you can hold a little bit higher up that right leg then feel free to go for that. Can you let the shoulders relax back down towards the mat? Take one more inhale. Stay for the exhale. Try to bring the legs in a little bit closer towards you. And then let's release our both feet flat down onto the mat. Bringing the knees in towards the chest, either rocking yourself up to seated or just roll over to one side so you can come up to a seated position. And then from here, bend both knees up. Bring the left leg underneath and the right leg on top. And then take hold of the left elbow. And pressing the head back towards the hands, or towards the arms, I should say. Relaxing the shoulders away from the ears. Let this, the floating ribs soften back down. And you can set the gaze towards the tip of the nose or you can look straight ahead. Set a single point if you can. Option here to take that right hand behind you and walk the hand up. If you can take hold of the fingertips then do. But feel free to keep holding onto the elbow. being in a space of just listening into the body here. Notice what's coming up. And sensations rise and fall. If you can, keep holding the arms where they are. Take an inhale and then exhale, coming forward over the legs. Take one more inhale and then as you exhale release those hands bringing the hands down in front of you and you can just rest them all the way down folding over to, uh, the legs to where you can. You can let the head just soften down as well. Just relax the neck. Taking the breath into the hips. Imagine breathing in space and then as you exhale, letting go. If you notice you started thinking about something or thinking about something that's coming up later. Just acknowledge what it is and then bring yourself back to the breath. Bring yourself back to the body. Feeling all of, it, all of yourself here in this moment. And then let's take an inhale to walk the hands back up. Releasing the legs out, so just bend both knees once again. Let's take the right leg underneath and the left leg on top. Trying to get knee to knee, bringing the heels over towards the hips if you can. Try to have both sitting bones down on the mat and then taking hold of the, uh, the right elbow. Resting the hand onto the upper back. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Trying to press the head back towards the arms as much as you can and feel that length through the lower back. And then when you're ready, if you're going there, taking that left hand behind you, walk the hands up and then trying to take hold of the fingers. Try to keep both shoulders square to the front. Open breath.
Take one more inhale, keeping the arms where they are, folding forward over the legs, just for a couple of breaths. And then one more inhale, as you exhale, releasing those arms all the way down, and just folding over the legs to where you can. Allowing the sitting bones to be heavy back down towards the mat. So particularly that left sitting bone might be lifting up and you want to try to let it drop back down. This last few breaths here. And then inhale to walk the hands back up, uncrossing the legs. Coming over the knees and stepping back into down facing dog. We're not gonna hold down dog today. Just use it as a transition and coming into your half pigeon. So bring the right knee forward towards the right wrist, tuck the left toes under and keep walking it back, keeping the left foot directly behind the hip, and then release the toes. Try to flex that right foot. And then from here, come down onto the forearms. So if you wanna have this, uh, have it a bit stronger, bring the right foot a little bit higher up towards the top edge of your mat. And if you need a bit more space, bring that heel in. If you need more support, you might pop a block or a cushion or something underneath that right hip. So down under the forearms if you can. And then from here, start to press down through that right shin bone. The leg won't move, but press down through the shin bone and then try to draw that right hip back. Find the breath. So press down through that right shin bone and then draw the right hip back. Use your breath. Keep flexing through that right foot. Once again, press down through the right shin bone and draw the right hip back. And then now you can just fold all the way forward if you'd like to. So just letting, letting that go. So there's a little bit of that action of pressing down through the right shin bone, but you can just be a little bit more relaxed, letting the forehead come down. And then walking the hands back up, tucking the back toes under, taking this right leg back, finding your down dog, and just taking a moment here in your down dog. You might want to pedal out through the feet just to relax that right hip back out. And then settle both heels back down, and we'll swap it over, bring that left knee towards that left wrist. Keep walking that right foot a little bit further back if you can, keeping it right behind the hip. Flexing that left foot, use your block or your cushion under that left hip if you need a bit more support. And then coming down to the forearms. And then we'll start again with that action of pressing down through that left shin bone and then draw the left hip back. So you don't see much on the outside, but you hopefully you should feel this quite strongly into that left hip. Press down through that left shin bone and then draw the left hip back. Keep breathing. Once again, pressing down through that left shin bone and then draw the left hip back. And then relaxing all the way forward if you can. If you'd like to, you can rest the forehead down, relax the shoulders.
this last couple of breaths here. And then starting to walk the hands back up, making your way back into your down facing dog. Just take your time. Lifting the hips up and then once again you might want to pedal out through the feet just to release that left hip out. Looking forward in between the hands, bring the right knee forward and then the left knee forward. Sit over to one side, extend both legs out. Flexing through the feet, pressing down through the backs of the legs. Take an inhale to reach the arms up and then exhale, folding forward over the legs just to where you can. You could hold the, the calves, the ankles or the outsides of the feet. Try to press the ball of the big toe forward or the ball mound, the big toe forward. Try to soften on the exhale. And then let's inhale, coming back up to seated. And then we're gonna roll all the way down onto the back brush of Asana. So make sure you feel warm enough. You can pop a jumper on or have a blanket. If you've got one handy, lying all the way down. Just letting the feet fall away. So feet nice and wide, so let the feet fall apart. Close the eyes. have a sense of the body getting a little bit softer and a little bit heavier with each exhale. Feeling supported by the ground underneath you. The trusting that you can give over the weight of the body. Allow the belly to be soft, allowing the face to be soft. And coming to complete rest for the next few minutes. Feel free to stay here for as long as you need. Thanks for joining me today. Namaste.